Hi, it's Claire here with another page for Scrap FX. Um, today I'm working in my large Dilusions journal um, on a single page spread. As you can see, I've applied a thin layer of gesso to the page and now I'm going in with an Amsterdam acrylic paint in permanent red violet, one of my favorite colors. Um, then I am adding some uh, carnation, Dina Wakely carnation paint. Next, I've gone in using a blending tool using the Scrap FX Zebra Circle Stencil. I've got to say, I think this is one of my favourite stencils. I love circles. I love to use them in my journaling. Um, so I have got a bit of a thing about that stencil. <laughs> um, then I'm using this uh, stencil by Dina Wakely with carnation paint. Um, just to add, I'm, I don't think I changed the sponge on the blending tool, so it did kind of mix the two pinks together. Um, next I'm using a face that I've drawn myself um, to use as the focal image on the page. I decided I didn't like her hair, it looked like ice cream, so I've cut it off. <laughs> and, um, and I'm sticking it in with uh, just an ordinary glue stick. Now, I like to use a bit of text on my pages as well when I journal, so um, this is actually a loopy script silhouette. Um, I'm pretty certain it could be used and just stuck straight in on the page, but um, because it was quite small, I wanted to use it to get the uh, text almost like a mask. So um, you'll see when I lift it up, it's a really nice effect. So then what I do, oh, I'm using Night Paint, which is a Dina Wakely paint. I'm just adding a bit of text here and there on the page. Um, I really like the effect of this. The only thing with using this as a stencil or mask is that it is quite fragile, so you have to be a little bit careful when you're lifting it up not to rip it. So um, I think that was quite a nice effect. And then I decided to add a bit of doodling. So using a white Posca pen, I'm just going in and adding some foliage, leaves, um, drying each one as I've done it so I don't smudge it. I can be a bit clumsy. Um, just some either side and then I think I do some coming down from the top as well. Next I'm using um, a black pen and it's a food ball pen and just adding some details on the leaves and some white dots with a Posca pen just to kind of ground the leaves and make them sit a bit better on the page. And then I am just writing the words that are in used in this uh, silhouette that I used as a mask. Uh, don't waste one more minute comparing yourself to others. This is your journey. This is something I'm bad at doing a lot. So it's kind of a message to myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.